So what is neuroplasticity and what is its role in changing how you think and indeed how you feel? Have you ever wondered if you could actually change how you think, change how you feel and indeed change how you behave? Keep watching because I really want to explain how amazing and powerful our minds truly are and how we can use them to change powerfully and indeed permanently. Plasticity is talking about the plasticity of the brain. You see, when we talk about plastic surgery, plasticity is a Greek word for molding and shaping. So plastic surgery is not about being plastic, it's about shaping and molding ourselves, our body. And neuroplasticity actually means shaping and molding our thinking. And what studies have shown time and time and time again is that as we think different thoughts, our brain starts to change, it starts to mold itself according to how we're thinking and how we're acting. So if you imagine you did that with your finger over and over and over again, and someone could look in your brain, you'd be creating a neuron which starts like, like a little thread and then becomes more like a rope because you're creating a neuron, a neural highway, if you like, in reaction to an action. And if now you tape your fingers together and can no longer do that action at all, and look, you'll see that that neuron, that neural highway starts to unravel itself. It goes from a rope back to a thread. It disintegrates. And that's very good news. What that means is repeated actions, repeated thoughts, repeated beliefs starts to change what's going on in our brain. And when we make that work for us by having positive thoughts, positive beliefs, positive actions actually changes our mind and we want to change our mind. So neuroplasticity really means the brain's ability to modify change, to adapt both in structure and function throughout our life. How does it work? We think a thought and our mind, body and psyche, our brain are working to make that thought real. If you think about something embarrassing, you might blush. If you think about something emotional, your eyes may fill up with tears. Think about something sexual, you can become very aroused. Think about hunger and your tummy may rumble. So every day we think a thought and our body makes it real. Our mind influences our body the thoughts we are thinking in our mind, our body is working to make real. And that's good news because while your mind influences your body, guess what? You have the power to fully, powerfully, wonderfully influence your mind. And that's what RTT does. It begins a process where the mind is communicating with the body, but also interrupting messages coming back. And you know, this only happens in hypnosis. In hypnosis, the mind can start to send a better message. It can start to send someone who says, I'm no good, a message saying you are deeply, powerfully, magnetically lovable. You are smart. You are kind. You are wonderful. Your body is a wellness-making machine. Your metabolic rate is powerful. So in hypnosis, especially in RTT hypnosis, we are training your mind to send powerful, beneficial messages to the body. But not only that, we are also interrupting the messages coming back. What does that mean? It means if you're going, oh my God, I've got a chronic headache, you interrupt that and say, I'm slightly dehydrated. My stomach is killing me becomes I have a little niggle. I'm exhausted becomes I certainly need to have some good recharging sleep tonight. So this power of both influencing for the better, the messages the mind is sending to the body and interpreting in a better way the messages coming back from the body is what makes RTT special and powerful. One of the things I love the most about RTT is its powerful language patterns. You see, your mind's job 
is to keep you alive on the planet and your job is to dialogue with your mind in a better way. When you say this job will kill me, if I get ghosted one more time, I will die. That would be the end of me. This commute is driving me insane. You're telling your mind, I don't want a relationship. I don't want to drive to work. In fact, I don't even want a job. Your mind's job is simply to keep you alive on the planet and your job, and it is a great job, is to dialogue better with your mind. That's what neuroplasticity is in a nutshell. It is dialoguing better with yourself, shaping your thoughts in a better way. So this commute is killing me becomes, well, it's certainly a challenge, but I've got an hour to listen to great music, to listen to audio books. My boss is a challenge, but I have a great job and I'm really skilled at communicating well and dealing with challenging people. My kids are driving me crazy. Well, that's age appropriate behavior. One day when they leave home, I'll miss them terribly. If I look at a cake, I get fat because I have a super efficient, super fast, powerful metabolic rate. I'm always sick. Every time it's winter, I get the flu because I have a phenomenal immune system. My body is amazing at doing wellness. You see, when you send better messages to your body and interpret the messages coming back better, that is neuroplasticity at its finest. And our TT has something called command cell therapy, where we are commanding, compelling, directing, and instructing the body to work better. I tell everyone, I want you to think of your mind as like a classroom of small children. Knows what to do, knows how to do it. When a teacher walks into a class of disruptive children, if they don't say, sit down, open your book, go to page eight, pay attention, they won't do that. But when you command a class or a person to behave better, they behave better. So command cell therapy is commanding the innate intelligence and wisdom of your body to heal itself, repair itself, improve itself. And your body is so willing to do that. Thoughts are things. Every thought you think has a physical reaction and indeed an emotional response. Thinking, I got a memory like a sieve. I'd lose the eyes in my head if they weren't screwed on. Changing that to I have an incredible memory. I have a reliable, dependable, phenomenal memory can actually make it so thinking. I just can't lose weight no matter what I do. Changing that to my metabolic rate is powerful. I prefer healthy food. Whatever I eat, I burn off and build a perfect body. You see, the mind doesn't know, and I promise you it doesn't care if what you tell it is right or wrong, true or false, useless or useful. If you would like to use the power of neuroplasticity to have a better life, a better body, better health, better thoughts, more happiness, make sure the messages your mind is sending to your body are powerful, beneficial, and exciting, and make sure the messages coming back are the same. And if you would like to find out more about RTT, what is Rapid Transformational Therapy? How can it help people? How could you train in it? How could you have the best job in the world? I love what I do so much. I will never retire. If you'd like to know how to have that too, please click the link below and I can't wait to tell you how amazing RTT is, what it can do for you and how you can use it to do so much for so many other people. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope I see you in one of my trainings very, very soon. Check out my next video here.